I please get one large um, caramel latte and then a ham and cheese croissant? That's what thank you. Um, Wincy, W I N C Y. Okay, good morning guys. Um, it has been such a long time since I last vlogged and I am really sorry about that. Currently it is exam season at UOA so that probably explains part of my absence and also this is so unlucky but I spilled coffee on my laptop like two weeks before my exam started no maybe not even two weeks maybe even like one week before my exam started and so I was without a laptop I was like freaking out because my notes weren't backed up and luckily I still managed to turn my laptop on and then sync my notes onto this online word document thing but then because I turned it on when there's coffee on the laptop my laptop died so i luckily had a spare laptop so we were able to convert all the software from the old laptop into my spare laptop and it was just a whole ordeal and i was like freaking out but everything's fine so i i think this morning i got a bodega or bodega and then i also got a ham and cheese croissant so that's for me and then this one is for my brother the bodega and then i got an oat milk flat white which is mine and then i got my brother a flat white because um my brother has an exam today i think it's his third exam so i just thought you know i'd be nice and get him something i have already done one exam i've done marketing 303 and that was on last i think I don't even remember what day it is now, but it's been a few days since since that exam. And then I only have two more exams to go. I have my public law exam, which is in two days. It's at Saturday at 5 p.m., which sucks, but you know, I just gotta deal with it. And then my criminal law exam is also Saturday at 5 p.m. I don't know what it is with law and like exams having to be smart, proctored, and then it's also on like the worst day and the worst time second year law is definitely a step up from first year that's all i've got to say but i actually really really enjoy it so i don't really mind um for next year i have enrolled i've already enrolled into my classes for next year because of the fact that law students are like hyenas like as soon as the Oh my god, there's this cute little dog over there. I'm just like watching him. As soon as the SSO portal opened for like people to enroll in classes, all the law students literally have already like enrolled in all their classes. I'm on the wait list for one of the electives that I want to do because of how like quick people get in. So next year, I'm planning, I'm obviously going to do torts law and contract law. And then I'm also going to do ethics which is a compulsory paper that you have to do if you want to practice as like a barista or solicitor in New Zealand so I'm going to do that paper and then I think for my elective I want to do justice and sentencing and that's in the second sem and I'm on the wait list for that paper so we'll just have to see so yeah and I don't know why the uni makes people enroll and like open the enrollment during exams because honestly i'm not gonna lie to you guys if you guys go to your way you know that dealing with like enrollment and your timetable and all of that is so stressful and confusing like i've been in this uni for thir for three years now and i still find it so confusing so honestly it, i don't even know why but um yeah i have been doing you know okay just been doing a lot of studying that's very boring and that i feel you guys would not enjoy watching me do that's also why i kind of haven't been vlogging but today i am um, a lot of study needs to be done and it's currently 10 20 it's a lot later than when i would usually start my study because i would usually start at eight but this morning i woke up late because i was so tired um so yeah i will sort of show you guys what i've been doing in terms of my study maybe i'll show you guys how i've been studying i'll show you guys some of my notes i'll show you guys how i take notes 
and all of that fun stuff. I was in the mood to vlog today, so that's a good thing. But yeah, I'm going to head home now before everything gets cold. These are my exam notes for public law. There is a good 50 pages of notes. Um, so it's just got all the modules that we've done over the year and it is quite a lot. Um, we will be tested on everything in this year but the good thing is that we get to choose four out of the five modules um, to answer in the exam. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do the Bill of Rights component which is this and then also the executive and um, judicial review and then one last one executive judicial review Bora and Treaty of Waitangi um, Maori sources of Maori rights so those are the essays or questions that I plan on answering in the exam and then these this document is my criminal law exam notes um this one is 22 pages we're not gonna get tested on everything in crim thankfully so um there's sort of less to remember or know which is very good but at the same time like everything is kind of entwined in in criminal law and there are a lot of cases to remember you also have to remember like specific offenses and then defenses um so that's that but yeah i have just spent a lot of my time during the exam season to just go over like heaps of practice papers like i'll show you guys some of my past oh wait no some of my like exam practice like what i've also done that i think has been very helpful is that i've tried to make my own questions for myself and then try to answer that so I've just been sort of like going through, you know, all of these practice, practice exam questions. And what's really helped me is that I write like my plan for every day. So I go morning, what I'm going to do in the morning and then afternoon or mid afternoon and then afternoon. So yesterday I had a call with my friend Bella and we just went through some practice exam questions together. And then I had a look at some of the Bill of Rights cases and then I made up a discrimination question for myself and then I tried to answer it myself and then in the afternoon I wrote up a structure for judicial review and then I did some notes for dress of circumstances under the criminal law. Today I think I really need to focus on just um, tidying up Bill of Rights and then I really need to just do some more practice but under time pressure because I haven't done that yet so I need to do that and then I need to continue doing my um, defenses notes for crim because next week I don't want to be writing up notes next week I just want to do all practice for crim so yeah I'm going to write that down now So right now I am doing a practice question on sources of, sources of Māori rights. This will be one of the five questions that we'll be getting. So I'm just going to try and do some practice under timed pressure. So just to give you guys an idea, this is generally how long like one fact question will be including so it'll be like this and then it will include like the statutory provisions which is 
all of this here. We won't be given reading time, but we will be given an extra half an hour just because our exams are online. And also, I'm not sure if you, I've told you guys, but our exam is going to be smart proctored, which means that the uni will be monitoring our screens and we will be on camera. So yeah, um, this is, the law is my only class um crim and pub are my only classes that are smart proctored so yeah i have highlighted like all the important points of this question and then we get like sort of um like qu little sub questions that we need to answer and then yeah i'm gonna have to try and do this within 45 minutes because we get given i think we get given five questions but we choose four questions so yeah, I'm going to try and have a go at doing this. Also guys, I just want to say these books have been an absolute lifesaver. Like I've got it for Cram and Pub. And they have been so good in helping with my exam prep and also digesting the content that I don't understand. So I will be selling these once I finish both my pub and crim exams because, yeah, I really rec highly, highly recommend these if you guys are a law student. Okay, guys, so now it's almost 5 p.m. and I'm still continuing with my study this is the third um or second practice exam that i've done this day today <laughs> and it's a judicial review question so i'm just doing this um 2016 exam <laughs> just woke up um today is the actual day of my exam so it's been two days since i last vlogged but i am going to have some breakfast and then i'm not actually going to study too much today because i just feel like i'm gonna freak myself out if i do that so i'm just gonna run through all my notes maybe do another practice essay make sure i understand everything and then sit my exam tonight my exam's at 5 p.m so 5 p.m and then i it's a three and a half hour exam so it runs till um 8 30 so quite a late one exam is literally in 20 minutes and I am I'm shitting myself I have butterflies in my stomach I feel very nervous and what a better day than to get my period right because I literally just got my period which sucks it's like the worst day to get it but it is kind of like just my luck so now I'm going to start the Inspira application because I need to get ready for this exam and I'm just so nervous like I actually feel like I want to throw up. I'm going to start the portal so that's it it's the exam portal 
then it like runs through all these checks and then it's gonna make me turn my camera on and then it's gonna start screen recording so yeah it's currently 4 40 so I'm just gonna start getting ready for my exam now this is the exam um, I have 15 minutes now until the exam starts which I am so nervous for but yeah, hopefully everything goes well. I've done a lot of studying over this past month, so hopefully everything goes well. Um, and um, I'll give you guys an update once that is done. So I've finished my exam and it's safe to say that was the worst exam I've ever done in my life and also the most stressful. How I look like right now is literally an accurate representation of the outcome of that exam because I literally had a panic attack in the exam and I full on cried. I was shaking. I was sweating. My armpits were so sweaty. Um, all because I, so this is just so crazy, but basically I got given, so we got given like five questions, right? And you're only meant to do four. So each question entails like a different module that we've done in the public law course. And so I, my dumbass, like did not go through every single question in the beginning and just like have a look at, you know, the kind of question that was being asked. Because like I said, each question is a different module in the course so there's like a very specific way that you have to answer that particular question and that particular question will also require like specific cases that you need to add and so I started writing up this answer for this question which I thought was the executive component. Um, I spent about nearly an hour writing this answer and then I clicked to and then just as I was done I was like oh yep feeling pretty good feeling confident and then I moved to the next question and then I see the words prerogative powers and prerogative powers is a part of the executive component of the course and I was like oh fuck I just literally spent 57 minutes or however long I did writing a question, writing an answer, writing like a whole essay for the wrong question. So I deleted, I literally deleted it and I still have it. I still have my answer from the legislature part. You should have seen my face because it was horror and disgust. So I'll show you it. So uh, look, I even named it cry. I named it cry because no joke I was crying in the exam and my camera was on so whoever's you know gonna watch that I hope you know they're gonna see me crying and they're gonna see what a wreck I was but look at that this by the way this is not very good I know because I was under you know so much stress but I wrote all of this for what I thought was the executive part, but actually this was a legislature question and I never studied for the legislature so I ended up scrapping all of this. I literally deleted it even though I should have kept it there because you know I still would have gotten like at least like a couple of marks because I did some like statutory interpretation but I, I just feel so shit after that because I was panicking and I was like, oh my god, I did the wrong question. Like, now I'm not going to have enough time to do the executive question and the Bill of Rights question. And so, I think I only had um, 45 minutes left. But I still tried my best to attempt the Bill of Rights question and the executive question. Luckily, the Bill of Rights question wasn't too bad. Like, it was, it was pretty good. Like, I still wrote a few paragraphs for that, even though I wrote it in literally 20 minutes. And um, for the executive question, it was like on something that we didn't even really learn about. And I didn't even provide any cases in that question. And usually to get like good marks, you need to provide cases. But luckily people in the law school chat, part two chat, were also like I didn't include any cases in the executive question. But um, yeah, I um, 
have nothing else to say. I just, I need to put myself on time out and I just need to stare at the wall. I should have gone through and looked at all the questions before writing each question. Like that was my first mistake and I'm, and I'm never doing that again. I'm telling you guys right now, like make sure to read all the questions first before you start writing because you don't know like what kind of question you're going to get and it's always good to just like make sure you know like what's ahead. <sighs> Anyways, I'm very stressed. I still haven't showered and it's been two hours since the exam finished. I've just been very like distressed. <laughs> I'm like kind of laughing because it's really funny. But then it's also really sad because I really did spend so long writing up that question just to delete it and then you know at least I'm like kind of a fast typer so I did kind of make up the time and I'm also just trying to justify <laughs> that I did okay I hope even though maybe I didn't because I fucked up so bad like that was that was really bad. I'm ready to end this vlog like I'm just so I'm so over it I'm so tired and my next exam is in um, seven days, literally a week from today. I really have to try a lot harder to try and make up for that for that grade for this exam because safe to say I don't think I'll be getting an A range grade. I'll be very shocked if I do. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, I, if you guys are going through exams, I just want to say good luck. Um, Make sure you read all the questions. Don't be like me and make sure you read all the questions. And um, yeah, just don't worry too much about it. I know it's exams are a very, very stressful time, but you've just got to study as hard as you can and just try your best. And for those of you who are in year 12 and year 13 and those who have exams in high school, like I know that the situation is so not ideal with the government making you guys all go back to school and stuff. Like even I think it's so stupid and ridiculous, but... Um, I know that you guys are also going through exams, so good luck. I really, really hope the best for you guys, and I hope that you guys, um, go well. And, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go and shower and then just go to sleep because, yeah, this is just not it. But, yeah, guys, I love you all so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.